how to create a really extreme colorful grading design in Affinity Photo. The key thing about this video, duplicate linked, you can find it in the layer menu. Simply use that for your duplication of layers. And the layers course can be anything such as gradients and you can combine them using blending modes. You can resize them, but you can also apply effects to great effect. Go to the layer menu and new layer. Then just create a gradient. Just go to the gradient tool and then apply. Now you'll probably get a basic gradient like that, but you've got the swatches panel and you can find all kinds of gradients. Just select one of them. Once you've got that, you can see over here in the layers, you've got this pixel layer. Well, you can duplicate it and you can use a special kind of duplicated link. So layer and down to duplicate linked. Use that, create 15 or 20. You can see I've created eight layers. They're all linked and you can see that here. But what you can also do is you can resize them and you can modify them in other ways. You can resize them, move them around, rotate them. I've done that for all the layers except one. I'm just gonna select this one right at the bottom. But also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply an effect to it now. So all those resizing rotations didn't affect it other than the resizing. But filters, and go down here to distort and mesh warp. Select that, and you can see you've got this bounding box for the mesh warp, and you can resize it. And as you do that, you'll notice what happens. All of them, all of them change. So you can warp it, and I'm just gonna go down there, and you can see they all warp. So you can literally create thousands of designs simply by warping one, to create all kinds of unusual warps in other ones. The duplicate linked can also use layers with blending modes. So instead of using normal, you can use blending modes like negation or difference to create even more amazing color combinations. So go to one of the layers, and I'm just gonna use this one again. Go up here and change the blending mode to negation. That's a good one to use. And you can see the result of that. And of course you can still continue to move it around and reposition it, but you can also continue to modify the warp. Once you're happy with the warp, you can always click apply. If you wish, you can also modify the color. Simply go to the gradient swatches, select a different swatch, go to the gradient tool and modify that design. However, if you want the warp, you need to reapply the mesh warp. You can also apply other filters, of course, such as deform, filter and distort and deform. Add some pins and then warp that. And as you do that, all those color combinations will change and you can see the distortion there apply to all of those layers. Click apply. At any point, you can always add additional layers. So layer, and again, duplicate linked. They need to be duplicate linked. If you're happy with the document, simply go to layer, and then down to merge visible, and they'll be merged into a single pixel layer. You can then apply additional effects to this design. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.